All right, this is Dr. Michael Mueller, and today we are going to chat about three peptides and a bonus peptide, so four in total, that literally can add muscle mass to your body and get rid of that stubborn, stubborn belly fat and the visceral fat, and that's the bad fat that's behind the abdominal muscle wall. And these peptides are quite remarkable, and we're going to talk about, you know, what they are, what they do, and who might benefit from them. Now, if you aren't interested in the peptides, you ought to stay for the last peptide I'm going to discuss, peptide number four. It'll be the last couple minutes of the video. So if you want, you can go all the way to the end and check that out, but I would advise that you stay for the first three. And the first peptide, folks, that I'm going to talk about that is a growth hormone secretagogue is sermorelin or sermorelin, depending, you know, you could say it either way, and that's S-E-R-M-O-R-E-L-I-N. And this peptide is ideal, absolutely ideal, for folks that are a little older, okay, that might have some issues with skin, right? They might have some decreased elasticity of the skin. They might be getting some signs of aging. And if they just want to kind of renew the skin a bit, this growth hormone secretagogue will help with that, right? And it'll help with bone density. It will help to increase muscle mass. It will help you to burn body fat. And it is a very safe FDA approved. Yes, you heard me correctly. It has the approval of the FDA. It is a very safe FDA approved peptide. And sermorelin is available through your doctor. So if you're interested in taking this, you should see your doctor um, and chat with him or her. And if they feel it's clinically necessary, they can put you on sermorelin. And if you're a patient with aches and pains, if you have back pain, you know, knee pain, uh, elbow pain, you name it, it can help with those things also. It's one of my favorite peptides, and I use it a lot in the clinic. And it's a bioidentical secretagogue to GHRH, which is growth hormone releasing hormone. That's released from the um, hypothalamus. And it tells the pituitary to release a little extra growth hormone while you're sleeping. And you can use this for um, a long time uh, when you're on it. Uh, you want to take it basically five days a week and take two days off, five days a week and two days off. The dose will vary depending upon the person and what the goal is medically. But it is certainly a peptide you could take and you could chat with your doctor about. Now, a lot of regular doctors might not prescribe it. Um, I'm a longevity physician. I'm a Mayo Clinic trained family physician, and I do this for a living. So, of course, it is something I would offer my patients. Now, don't forget, folks, I am a physician, but I'm not your physician. So if you need a physician, please see one and chat with them about peptides. Everything here is for education and entertainment only. None of this is medical advice. Uh, again, if you need medical advice, please see a physician. But this peptide kind of mimics what your body does naturally. It just allows your pituitary to release a little extra growth hormone to maybe put you back another 10 or 20 years earlier when your body was releasing more. And this will help with all types of recovery. It'll help with sleep. That's another added benefit. Oftentimes, you know, when you put a patient on this within days, they'll tell you, I am sleeping like a baby. So it's kind of the wellness king. It helps with a lot of various things, and my patients love it. Now, the next one, folks, is the peptide that's known as the ab sculpting specialist, and this is tesamorelin or tesamorelin, T-E-S-A-M-O-R-E-L-I-N. And this one, how it works, it's very similar to sermorelin because it too is a GHRH analog. And this one has FDA approval. Yes, you heard me correctly. FDA approval for medical fat loss. Yes, uh, it's, it's designed to help folks. Uh, it was originally designed for HIV patients. Oftentimes, they'll tend to accumulate a lot of fat uh, in the ab abdominal area. And this medication specifically has that FDA approval to remove body fat in the abdomen and visceral fat in the abdomen. And this one's popular among bodybuilders. It's popular among people who want to get that six pack um, because it is so good at getting rid of the belly fat, the deep belly fat, the visceral fat, the nasty stuff that we all need to get rid of. So I'm a big fan of tesamorelin. And it's kind of, uh, it does what sermorelin does. It just does it better and it lasts longer. Um, so this one's kind of, got the nickname the physique finisher because if you've worked hard to get that body that you want to 
to get rid of the fat and to get the six pack abs, this one kind of will help with that. So I'm a big fan of this one too. Now, the, the last one, and these are kind of getting stronger as we go along, is Ipamorelin, I-P-A-M-O-R-E-L-I-N. And this one, folks, does what the above two also do, the Sermorelin and the Tezamorelin. It just does it a little better and it lasts a little longer. The Sermorelin lasts the shortest duration of time. The Tezamorelin lasts a little longer than that. And then, of course, the Ipamorelin lasts even longer, especially if you pair it with CJC1295. And we're going to talk about that. Now, what Ipamorelin does is it's a ghrelin mimetic, meaning it, it basically copies uh, and causes the same types of thing that, things that ghrelin does in the body. And this one basically is amazing for building muscle mass and for also burning off the fat. And if I didn't mention it, folks, the, the tesamorelin and the sermorelin also help with muscle recovery and they help us to build muscle mass. So these peptides, by secrete, uh, causing your body to secrete more growth hormone, help you to build massive amounts of muscle and they help you to get rid of body fat. And all the data shows, if you want to live longer, folks, you got to get rid of body fat and you have to build up muscle. So this one is very effective at that, the ipamorelin. It triggers a massive growth hormone pulse that will uh, last longer than uh, sermorelin and tesamorelin. And this one also is unique because it does not stimulate hunger. It doesn't elevate, elevate cortisol levels. It doesn't elevate prolactin. So it's kind of a sneaky little stealth peptide that won't put you at risk for blood sugar issues that could lead to diabetes. And you could see blood sugar issues with the tesmorelin or the sermorelin. Now, if you want the ipamorelin to work more efficiently, if you want it to work better, okay, then you're going to couple it with CJC1295. This is a long-acting growth hormone releasing hormone type of uh, peptide. It's the ultimate stacking peptide. And what this does is it keeps that growth hormone uh, signal that causes the growth hormone to be released active for a longer duration. So by, by acting longer, you're going to get more benefits from the growth hormone released. And again, this is paired with ipamorelin, and the two have a synergistic effect. So you get more growth hormone release, and that release lasts for a longer duration of time. This is kind of like the, uh, the super stacker, right? This thing just really, people get a lot of benefits from this. This is popular uh, amongst bodybuilders and folks like that. Um, but again, it, it just basically causes your body to release more growth hormone at night, specifically while you're sleeping and during the day, this one also, and it also helps it to do it over a longer duration. Um, I'm a big fan of CJC1295 when it's paired with ipamorelin. A lot of folks like this combination, and, and you know, if you want to learn more, you should check it out. But again, folks, don't do these peptides without the guidance of a physician because some of these peptides have been studied a lot, some haven't, some are approved by the FDA, some are not. So always do your homework and always do things under the guidance of a physician. Now, I said there was going to be a bonus peptide, folks, and this bonus peptide, this one is a muscle builder. All of the peptides we've talked about already allow growth hormone to do its thing a little better than it would without taking the peptide. But this peptide, folks, so, so the growth hormone peptides stimulate your body to make extra muscle. But the last peptide we're going to talk about stimulates your body to not suppress the making of more muscle. And I'm going to explain that a bit. The last one is the myostatin killer. And this one is folistatin, F-O-L-L-I. S-T-A-T-I-N. In your body, okay, you have this protein and it's called myostatin, okay? And the job of myostatin is to keep your muscles from growing too big. Yes, you heard me correctly. It's actually a protein that's job is to keep your muscles from growing, right? And as we age, myostatin also decreases your muscle size. So really, if you wanted bigger muscles, you would want less myostatin, right? You wouldn't want myostatin to do what it does. Well, folostatin does just that, folks. It binds myostatin and it inhibits it, so it allows your muscles to grow crazily big. It allows your muscles to recover quicker. It allows your muscles to get bigger and stronger. And this one, folks, certainly will allow your body to build more muscle mass than it would if you weren't taking the folostatin. So if you couple the growth hormone peptides, right, if you use one or two of those, they're going to stimulate your body to make um, 
more growth hormone, that's going to stimulate your muscles to grow. Follistatin by inhibiting myostatin is then going to take the brakes off of the muscle growth and it's going to allow your muscles to grow even more so than they would if you weren't taking the follistatin because myostatin kind of says to the growth hormone, enough's enough, the muscles have grown, I don't want them to grow anymore. And if follistatin gets rid of the myostatin, then what's going to happen is your body's going to say, hey, the growth hormone's making the muscles get bigger and I'm just going to let it run. So as you can imagine, folks, that can cause some massive, massive muscle growth. But remember, with that type of growth, there could always be potential side effects. There could always be negative things that can happen. So again, you need to discuss these types of things with a physician before you even consider doing it. So I like these peptides, folks. Again, everything here is for education and entertainment only. If you enjoyed the content, hit the like button, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Please share the video with your friends. I'll be back at you soon with another one. Bye.